And there are two types of mind, a divine mind and a human mind. There is a divine mind, which has lot more freedom, which can understand things in the future, in the past. When, with the divine mind, you will be able to perceive things that are hidden. I'm making this particular video for my Singapore students. Uh, who will have an opportunity to learn these uh, new techniques and test for themselves why have I not made money or why have I not been able to get the relationship I wanted or the health that I wanted. It will all be built into the program, the testing part, uh, quite objectively and also subjectively. It's a two-day program that uh, I want to do, in which we will test how our brain is able to access different parts which are associated with uh, uh, superintelligence. The pituitary, the pineal, the midbrain, the lower cerebellum. When these areas become active, you will have the ability of thought manifestation, ability to know other people's thoughts, ability to know what is going to succeed, ability to heal your body. Not these things are uh, unknown to uh, the fathers of yoga. They knew all that. There is a text called uh, uh, Hatha Yoga Pratipika. And it uh, gives a lot of tests whether or not you have gained the abilities to know the unknown. Patanjali talks about reading the other people's mind or uh, drawing things towards you. I have taught some of them but never tested them within the context of the program. Now we are going to do that, experimentally. We will test whether you can know ahead of time uh, through, the, through activation of certain parts of the brain, things that have not, uh, are not otherwise knowable through logic and reasoning. Let me be more precise. So you'll be given a test of like uh, having tennis balls of different colors. And you will close your eyes and then you will go and pick up a red ball because that's what you are thinking, your, your eyes are closed. But you must be able to pick up the red ball. That means you have been able to uh, harmonize your intent and then the action creating the results. It, it is thought manifestation. We will do the technique first and then we will uh, do the test. And you, nobody is going to be 100%. If you are 100%, then you are perfect. But at least 50% is acceptable. And over a period of time, then you will be able to test for yourselves that you think and manifest. So it will be built into this program. And you will also see those who have been able to manifest or those who are able to connect their thoughts with their results. And if they are not able to do it, we are going to look into various uh, factors involved in it. Maybe you did well at a certain point in time, but not now. Because things have changed in your life. The planets have changed, so astrology is going to be a factor that needs to be looked at and you need more help with that.
And also your relationship with this time and space, this, you will, the, the place you are living in is space. And it has certain time components too because, as Einstein said, time and space are a continuum. So you will be able to manipulate time through manipulating space. And this also will be done through many experiments that you will do within the class, within the session itself. Then there are points around you, around the body, the auric field, particularly on top of your head, just 12 inches above the head, anything where starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, up to 12 inches, there are fields of energy which you have never used, and it can be activated by different people. And why am I doing all these things? Because we want to know for ourselves that why we have failed so far. We have failed so far because these tests are validating that there is no harmony between our thought and our results. And we have never worried about that. Yet another aspect of this new teaching is to expose the students to uh, interact with, with nature. For instance, the yogis uh, never wanted to live in the city. They always live in the jungle. Why? Because they they wanted to commune with, uh, with nature, particularly the trees and the sky and the river, etc. The trees particularly have tremendous amount of, uh, of power behind them. So one theory is that the trees are really gods and goddesses or angels who came down to help the human beings. You can actually uh, communicate with them. There was, there's a line that I remember from Wordsworth, one impulse from the vernal wood, which more of man than all sages can. So, one just, one just impulse that you get from the tree is better than all the scriptural teachings you get from the sages. It's true. So I will teach you how to commune with uh, the trees and get benefited. And I just remember about uh, the banyan tree under which the Buddha sat. It's called the Bodhi tree. A banyan is a tree that can give you enlightenment and royalty consciousness. The neem tree can heal you. There is the tree called Bilva tree. It can heal and also give you enlightenment. So are the uh, palm trees. Each tree has its own uh, vibratory uh, power of healing, healing the body, mind, and the soul. So these are some of the things uh, that we will be doing uh, in the botanical garden in Singapore that I intend to take the participants and give them a practical training of how they can go and expose themselves to nature, to the trees, and interact with them in order to get uh, uh, yeah, healing or, or, or intelligence. Uh, 
A third component of this program is that longer hours of meditation, in which you will be able to see that you definitely moved from the logical mind and the rational brain to uh, unlimited translogical reality. In other words, from knowledge to wisdom. And that takes place only when you just sit down and breathe for three hours. And I will introduce about five kinds of uh, breathing practices from stalwarts uh, who have become immortal, who became immortal just by practicing these different types of uh, pranayama. So I'm very excited about this program because for the first time, you know it for yourself through objective validation of your ability to harmonize your thought with your action. You will know for yourself the, the power of the mind over matter. You will be testing a mind over matter. I'm very, very excited about this because it's going to uh, help you to grade yourself. What is important about this program is the grading resulting in you are passing the program or failing it. The grading will take place at uh, different stages. You will self-grade yourself and you will know yourself how you have performed, how you are able to harmonize your thought to the results. And also others will grade you too. And I will see the final grading and then make my own grading. I look forward to unveiling this uh, new technology and teaching to all of you in Singapore.